ahead and introduce yourself. Good morning. I mentioned my first class grade. In. Is that all for the day? Um, what's your What's your major? Gen Health science general. Okay. And what was your first choice for service assignment? Swo, sir. Swo. And why did you choose to uh, potentially join the surface navy? Um. I chose to join the Service Navy simply because the others didn't interest me, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I don't think I could be underwater for periods of time, and then I'm just, I'm afraid of heights low-key, so I don't think aviation would interest me. Okay. And then, basically, I just didn't have enjoyed the Service Navy on service cruises, and that just... All right. <laughs> what was your second choice? If you don't get to, if you don't get to be SWO... Uh, my, surf my second choice was Information Warfare, I think. Okay. So. So. Good morning. I'm Midshipman First Class Lassard from Daytona Beach, Florida. All right, and we have service assignment coming up. So, what was your first choice for service assignment? 1170 Nuclear Submarines. Okay, and why did you choose that particular path? It's the best job in the Navy. Um, joining this program, I really wanted to challenge myself, and there's no greater challenge than driving and operating a nuclear submarine. All right, and if you uh, are not fortunate enough to be selected for the submarine service, uh, what was your next choice? My second choice will be joining the SWO Navy. And, and why would you choose to join the, uh, the surface force? It's the backbone of the Navy, and if I'm not in a submarine, I want to be hunting one from a boat. Okay, <laughs> from a from a boat or a ship, a as, ship, as we like to say. Sorry, all right, so, submarine lingo. Yeah, I guess so. Um, My name is Midshipman First Class Justin Sepulveda. All right, and what have you decided to hope to do for the Navy? So my first choice is eleven seventy, which submarines. is submarines. Okay, and why did you, why do you aspire to be a member of the United States Navy Submarine Service? Uh, just. Going on my first class cruise, it was an amazing experience being on the USS Nevada, um, getting to walk the spaces and see the day-to-day -day life of a junior officer. It really, really sold me on the prospect of also becoming one. Okay, excellent. And uh, if if submarine service does not work out for you, what would be your second cho or what was your second choice? So my second choice was 1170 Echo, uh, submarine engineering duty officer. Okay, and why did you look at that path? Um, I was just reading about the prospect of going to graduate school, getting my degree in a STEM field, and also applying that back to military service. All right, well. Okay, so greetings. I am Midshipman First Class Serena D. Williams, a fourth year health leader fitness scholar for the military family, and I plan on intending to serve select uh, nuclear SWO. Nuclear SWO, and what would, uh, what would that entail, uh, or what do you think that would entail for the uh, first part of your career? Um, so I definitely know I'll be on a destroyer. I'm hoping to kind of get an overseas tour, so looking into maybe Spain or even Italy, if possible, so I can get a good overseas tour. And then after that, coming back, going into nuke school, and then from there, being on a carrier and branching out. So. Okay. And what made you want to go that route? Uh, well, the opportunity was given to me, so I knew that if it was presented, that I should be able to take full care and um, just see where it has to take me, because I didn't want to ever leave myself without um, having the option, so I was able to give myself the option to do so. Okay, and what is your second uh, choice? Uh, my second choice would just be SWO. Okay. Hi, I'm Alexander Salvatore. Um, I'm a first class midshipman at FAMU NRTC. I'm majoring in industrial engineering, and um, that's about it. Okay, and service assignment. So, what was your first choice for service assignment? So, my first choice for service assignment was pilot, um, and then my second was NFO. Okay, and why did we choose these particular career paths? I chose pilot because I think aircraft are really cool. Um, I love the physics behind flying, um, and I think it's very interesting, and I'm super passionate about it. I mean, who doesn't love Maverick? Okay, and if you don't get to follow in Maverick's footsteps, then what, did you, what would your preference be? NFO, so I'm okay. hoping... Like... Let's say you don't get to follow Maverick or Goose, <laughs> then where do you see yourself? Oh, as a SWO, and sir. And why? Why would that be? Sir, because I believe that it's an incredible leadership opportunity. Um, you have 
the opportunity to influence a lot of sailors below you and other officers beside you. All right. Well, we will find out what your future holds very shortly. Who oh, yeah, sir? Good yeah. morning, sir. Order. This right here is the key to your future. I want you to take this key and hold it. All right. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Here's the key to your future. Take the ski and cherish it. Here's the key to your future. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's the key to your future. <laughs> You're so welcome. Here is the key to your future. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you nervous yet? Always <laughs> So you nervous yet? A little bit, sir. Oh, just a little bit? <laughs> what about you, Hardaway? Are you nervous? Uh, a little bit, sir. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. How are you feeling? Are you nervous yet? I'm feeling good, sir. This workout's hyping me up. How do you feel about your future? I'm excited. Whatever it is. All right. Good morning, everyone. Today is a day of celebration and pride as we gather to honor the accomplishment of these seven outstanding midshipmen. Each of them has worked tirelessly, demonstrating leadership, dedication, and commitment to the principles of our Navy. This morning marks the beginning of the next chapter of their naval careers as they, as they receive their warfare community assignments, the roles that will define their journey as officers in the United States Navy. These assignments are not just jobs, they are vocations that will shape your future and the future of those you lead. Today we celebrate the hard work and your readiness to take on the challenges and responsibilities that lie ahead. As a symbol of the journey you are about to embark on, each of you will receive a locked crate. Inside, you will find your future, your warfare community assignment, But there is more to this presentation than just the crate. You guys aren't alphabetical like I had hoped you would be. Along with the crate, each of you has received a necklace. Miss Williams. On it, you will find the word future engraved. Reminding you that the path ahead is filled with both opportunity and responsibility. Attached to the necklace is a key, the key to unlocking your crate and symbolically unlocking the next step of your naval career. Mr. Lassard. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I will now call forward each Mitch Dippman, one at a time, you have received your crate. Once everybody has theirs, which you have, we will open them, marking this momentous occasion. All right, so, thank you. I'm gonna grab this. We're just gonna start right here. So, Mr. Lassard, yes, go ahead and unlock your crate and you will learn your future. Submarines. Woo! Submarines. Yeah! Let's go seven for seven. <laughs> He's confused.
Aviation. Congratulations. Let's hear it for our latest service assignees.